Congratulations to Winthrop. I thought they played very well. I thought they played very hard. Um, they got a very good basketball team, well-coached basketball team. Um, great support by their fans tonight, great atmosphere. I thought Pat had did a good job of getting his team ready to play. Uh, they're very difficult to guard in a number of positions, and the biggest thing uh, was they're very veteran. Uh, with that being said, uh, I can't begin to tell you how proud I am of our team. Uh, we came in here, uh, I don't know how many days ago, and it wasn't a contest. And uh, this was a contest. And that score is not indicative of, of what a good contest it was. I thought our guys played with great courage, uh, with great physical toughness. Uh, I thought our guys executed very well. Um, uh, this has been a good tournament experience, even though it's been shorter than we would have liked for our young team. And um, it's going to be very valuable as we continue to grow this thing back to where we want to be. Um, I thought our guard play was outstanding. Um, offensively, we got the ability to spread the floor and get to the rim um, as well as we've done that all year. And um, all that is coming back, so we're really excited about that. Um, I thought our team defensively uh, struggled at times, particularly in defensive transition. We struggled. Uh, we struggled to get back. Um, uh, we got to add some depth, and we think we've done that with some, some really good recruiting. We, three guys coming in that we feel good about. <coughs> but credit to Keon on that, too. He pushes the ball as well as any guard in the country. He's very similar to a young man we had a number of years ago named Saad Nimley, who pushed the ball like that. And, and so a lot of that defensive transition you credit to, to Keon. He's a first-class player. Uh, these two guys beside me uh, had tremendous years. I love them to death. Um, and I'm so excited to get to coach them again next year. Questions for players. Court says, what was, the, what was kind of difference in the second half? It seemed like the first half you guys kind of had trouble getting to the rim. The second half you got there quite a bit. What was the difference? Uh, we went small, and we was able to spread the flow with Christian at the four. Uh, Cause then we could space the floor. We had more shooters, and we was on attack mode. Christian, how tough was it? Ball to, to match up with the, the problems they presented? Um, it wasn't, it was challenging, you know, Xavier, he's about 6'9", you know, but you know, it's, it's mostly about position, you know, being in the right position and stuff. Uh, they, they put me in spots numerous times, and I think they did it last game when we played uh, Winter, so, you know, it was a big challenge, but I, you know, I, I, re I was ready to take on the challenge. Any other questions for the players? 
Christian, how about here the, the last couple of weeks? It seemed like uh, Cortez and Armel and you really started blending. It's a trio that all comes back next year. It seems like you guys kind of figured it out a little bit late in the year. Um, it's scary, you know, it's scary. Yeah. Uh, us three, you know, we, we we really didn't know each other. You know, we had to, you know, find each other. And it so happened kind of happened late, you know. I mean, we all scored in double figures tonight. I mean, just, just the fact that we all three come back and we have more freshmen and, you know, we got like four seniors leaving. So that's the majority of our team coming back. So it's like, you know, it's just scary. We got something to build on. And, you know, we play one year on the belt, so it would be a little bit of experience. You could just tell their poise. We cut it to four and they didn't, they're not rattled. I mean, we're, we cut it to four and we're excited. And we're jumping up and down and, you know, they lose whatever, however many they were up and, and we cut it to four and they just walk to their bench and we're jumping up and down. And you can just see the difference in the, the differences in the team yeah, from an experience standpoint. Um, they, they executed very well down the stretch, particularly defensively and, um, and, and made some big shots. In our zone, our zone rotation to the corner uh, hurt us three times in the second half. And um, as though that was disappointing on our part that we didn't do a better job of coaching that. Uh, but, but um, you know, credit them. They're, against the zone, they put four shooters out there, and it's really difficult to guard. It is. It's difficult. It's, it's you know, their, space, their spacing is so good. And, and then, you know, as you overextend, then they drive. And Xavier's, Xavier's the best player in this basketball league. The, the, you, you guys can vote for whoever you want to. Xavier Cooks is the best basketball player in this league. He'll be the best pro. He's the toughest matchup. He's the hardest to deal with. And I love that he's edgy. He's edgy. I mean, all the great ones that I've coached are edgy guys. And he's edgy. And take Xavier off that team, and it's much easier to guard. He's a mismatch problem from the opening tip to the final horn. And um, uh, he's really good. Coach, you raved about Christian in media day and again on Monday. And when you look at a kid like that, not just what he did tonight on the floor and what he's done over the past few weeks on the floor, but what he is off the floor, you've had a lot of guards that were leaders, Saw, Arlon, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. When you have another one like that, what does that say for your program? Well, he, he's just one of those special ones. He's just special. And why, why is he special? Our media down there always ask me, why is he special? He's just special. He's the first one in the gym. He's the last one to leave. He greets everybody that comes to practice. His personality is as big as Charleston. Um, he, he, he's fearless. He's fearless. He's got to grow defensively for sure. He's lost three or four or, or 70 times tonight. Um, but he, he, he's just one of those. He's just one of those. He's, he's a Keon. He's a Sa. He's a Xavier. He's just one of those that in our league is going to be really tough to deal with. And um, as we continue to recruit and build around him, uh, we got we got to add some stuff inside and do a, a good job of, of strengthening up our defense. We played good enough offensively to win tonight. I mean, there's no doubt. We spread the floor and get to the rim. If, if, if we can add a couple shooters, because it's, it's two for 12 is not typical Charleston Southern. I mean, we want to hit as many as we can. And as you condense the floor and we can pitch it, right now we have to drive it again. And as we add shooters to that, that's going to come a really difficult matchup for a lot of people in our league. So um, he, he's just he's just something. He's he just he's just one of those guys. He he walks in last night and walks over and greets Jeff Jackson. I introduced Jeff to our team, and Christian just goes over there and strikes up a conversation. He's just one of those guys that is that's just special. And then someday, and I'm not going to do it tonight because I'll start crying again. Um, um, yeah, I'll tell you his background, and you won't believe it, what he's overcome. And he's just a really, really special kid.